Hey guys, Sean Bean. Today we are playing with a Wind Sniper after patch. All the sniper got buff. Their default attack now do 10% more damage. Crazy buff, I know. They buff the hidden aim skill as well. Now it only has two turn cooldown, and that is quite huge because this is their selling point. So now you can go into hidden aim, get a turn shoot and go into hit a name once again after that so it's very frequent that they can do this in the past it was three turn cooldown so it's not as frequent also they buffed the win passive to give him a hundred percent attack bar which means he can more or less get a turn very quickly shoot go back to hit a name and he can get attack power buff as well when enemy glance him which is not very easy to achieve but hey Free attack power for a skill that can boost your damage by a lot. He can do like 20, 30,000 without the need for defense break. And that's pretty good. I'm using Swift Blade, you know, very basic rune, speed, good damage, and attack. I think too insane. You can go Rage, you can go Vampire even because I think he's designed to take some hit. So healing back with a big hit, I think is pretty good. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend, one of the most famous mobile turn-based RPG game that is available free to play on both PC and mobile. So you can play on both platform, no progression loss and really good graphic on either PC or phone. The game is going to be really, really fun if you start the game out correctly. So I'm going to give you some tips. But before that, the developer even has their own personal guide for you by using the link in the description box down below. Now is my tips. First, you have to log in every single day. Just by logging in, you get so many free stuff and they are very good for your progression from currency to summon to even skill book to free champions, good ones. So log in every single day. Next, you have to do all your quests, especially the daily, weekly, and monthly mission that will give you even more free stuff to progress with. But you might be too absorbed with the story and progression. You may forget the arena where you can trash other people. Very fun over there and also give you more rewards by beating noobs in the arena. So do your arena and don't forget about them. Lastly, fire clan, fire people, fire community. So you can talk about raid every single day with other people as well. So what are you waiting for? Go join the game right now, download using my link in the description box below and get yourself 100,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 10 mystery shots and 1 free champion, the slasher. It can help you crush the early game and looks really good while doing so. All the treasure will be waiting for you in the inbox over here, but it will only be available in the next 30 days. So join the game fast with the link down below. I think one of the places where he can excel in will be the Water Rift Beast. Because in this situation, the Beast has to hit the Sniper. And because he is a Wind Element unit, he takes less damage. And it is very likely that the Beast will glance him. So if it happens, he will get some free turn and also free attack buff. And he does a lot of damage. So it's, it's pretty good. And when you do a lot of damage against the normal state, not groggy, you you champ you you're so good because look look at that. Look at the damage. I think that was pretty solid for a non-defense break hit, especially on this kind of unit where you need to kill the boss in the normal state to achieve triple S. Because you can do a lot of damage here in the groggy stage, right? Everyone can do it. You put branding, defense break, get a crow going and you do a lot of damage it doesn't matter what kind of team you have groggy state is easy but the tough part is killing the boss and i think the wind sniper is pretty good at that and the boss will always glance him he doesn't even need to go into the hidden aim because the boss is water so when the boss hit him he get a free turn and attack buff to shoot him if you go into hidden aim it's even better so that was pretty decent damage I can't lie, that was pretty decent damage. And because they buff his cooldown, he can do it all the time. So Thorn or whatever, he glances the sniper. He can go back to hit a name immediately. And can I get an attack buff quickly, please? Yo, what the hell, dude? Bam, 30k. That's a lot. 
that is a lot of damage and because glancing give yeah you see that that is a free turn with attack buff right there can we go to hidden aim please okay so sniper also doesn't have perfect ai unfortunate but yeah i think it's a decent frontline tank on vampire rune or you can use agar for the vampire buff and he can do a lot of damage in this boss in particular one of the most popular fire unit in guild war defense will be perna and perna is not fun to fight against so you probably have to bring some sort of protection for your sniper so that he can stay alive because even with the extra chance for enemy to glance perna perna doesn't really care <laughs> i'm gonna defense break the panda okay so that when maybe perna glance so as you can see right there two hit from perna we see no glancing okay <laughs> we didn't see no glancing from this fire unit even though it says here increase the chance of receiving glancing hit by 50 percent actually because perna never glance is zero so improving zero by 50 percent is still zero right <laughs> it's Yo, we did a lot of damage right there. Let me put Glancing Debuff on Perna. Hopefully, that's gonna do something against the Perna. Because with the buff chance for Glancing and... Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. What do I do here? I'm gonna just boost him. And the passive... I mean, not really the passive. The effect on the skill. He should Glance. Okay, he Glance. So, we get a free turn with Attack buff. We're gonna hit that Panda with Defense buff, okay? To death. Boom. So, even with Defense buff, we did very good damage. So we did well. And now because Perna glance again, we get another turn once again. But out of the glancing debuff, Perna's gonna get that thing, that, that crit in. And that is not funny. I'm gonna boost Vigor. Potentially trying to defense break and kill the Perna maybe. All right, Vigor did some very, very good damage. I like that. But can we kill the Perna though? I'm not too sure about this. Let me try to just shoot him. Pew, shoot the bird. We shoot the bird, boys! We shoot the bird! Okay, what do I do now, though? Um, glancing? Okay. I need to... Do I need defense break? Bam! Um, he, he did some good damage. Despite not having attack buff or a defense break. The extra damage from hidden aim is just... I think it's really, really nice. It's a... Nicely underrated skill. Because... There's not a lot of unit in the game where they need to sort of power up, right? So this is really interesting and it boosts damage. It doesn't boost, um, what do you call that? It doesn't just boost attack power. Boosting attack power is lame. Boosting damage is really nice. Okay, let me just boost you. Shoot, protect, shoot the panda. So you probably need some sort of Chloe thing, to be honest. Oh my God, Ileana is just a toxic, crazy unit. So good. So, so good. Let's try against Avert on defense. Not as popular anymore. Okay. That Lauren's moving though. So I think I gotta stop it. Okay. Stop the Lauren from moving. We're gonna try to... Oh, don't sleep me. Don't sleep me. God oh, damn it. What do I do now? I want to boost her. We're gonna defense break this. Can I go into hidden aim? And then he's gonna hit me and glance. And we have a turn. And we... Bam! Oh, wow. Once in a while, I get to feel kind of smart. <laughs> kind of smart. Oh, my God. That actually worked out. We're going to go in this. We're going to go hit a name again. We're going to defense break Lauren. He's going to hit me twice. Bam, bam. One of them is going to glance and bam. Yo, I'm kind of smart, huh? <laughs> hit me again. Hit me again. I want you to hit me again with glancing. He's going to hit me. Triggered. And... BAM! Yo! You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Hopefully it's gonna work against Odin because there's a Kamun there, there's a Bastet with an AoE there. Hopefully it's gonna trigger my uh, my sniper instinct, okay? Yo, why does he have 5 stack? Something's wrong here. Oh, and this enemy is not off well. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna go into hidden aim. Alright, and... Oh, nobody's hitting him. <laughs> Nobody's hitting him. Okay, it's okay. He's gonna he's gonna hit my my animal, right? And he's gonna kill my animal. I'm pretty sure. That's gonna happen. And then we're just gonna try to touch him. We're gonna hit through that shield. So 
it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do all my damage on this Bastan here. We're gonna kill through the shield. Bam. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Because we do so much damage. It doesn't matter what kind of shield he gets as well. So, oh, wow. Bastan triggering me. Um, should I shoot him? Or should I go to hit a name? Let's let's go to hit a name. Okay. Come on, come on. Hit my sniper. Come on. Why do you keep hitting Triana? Yo, I thought you like to hit low HP unit. Excuse you. Come on. Bam. He did so much damage on a decent average set, I would say. I know I got some nice good damage on there, but I think hitting for 30, 40k is, is kind of good. It's kind of good. We can also run some sort of AoE glancing debuff like the girl, the, the, the light girl here. So that even if it's fire over there, the fire monkey, he's still gonna um, glance you. Okay, defense break. Good. So hit me. Hit me, monkey. Trigger win. He glanced me. Perfect. Shoot. Bam. <laughs> Oi! Oh no, that is not good. That is not good at all. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. Glance. Okay, kill. Boom. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey! Big oof. All right, let's go against another Perna here. Ooh, what is going on here? I really want to kill the Jean first. So we're going to do that. We're going to put protection on our sniper. And we're going to hit a name. Okay, bam. Oh, he glanced me. And the moment sniper get a turn, nothing can survive. That is, I think, a fact. <laughs> I'm going to boost my sniper. Going to hit a name once again. So hopefully we are well protected. That is a defense buff Jean. Do I care about defense buff um maybe i do maybe i do i'm gonna just put that on her real quick put glancing here maybe Ooh, that's good if he glanced me of course he doesn't of course he doesn't um let me strip that strip all his damage output okay good he doesn't do anything we're gonna try to cleanse my sniper go into the pose put defense break on the thing and Pew! i think it should really be on vampire I think he should really burn Vampire. So it's going to be really, really good because he's going to heal back so much every turn. And that is, that's pretty awesome. Let me just, do I kill him? Am I going to do this? Am I going to put glancing on him? Okay, good. Haha! -ha! Boom. Oh, without defense, but we still did a very considerable amount of damage. And I like that. Kill. All right, kill. Nice. I'm going to push back the Perna, abuse the Perna even more. I'm going to put Glancing on the Perna. No, go to Hidden Aim. Push back. Uh, protect the Sniper. I think we're moving anyway, right? And we are done. Man, Iliana is just toxic. If you guys like this guy enough, let me know in the comment section down below and hit the like button. So I can bring him back maybe on a Vampire Rune set. For now, not bad. Not bad. Not the worst. So, pretty fun toy overall if you can max his skill. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!